In the aftermath of the Manipur violence, there's a fresh controversy brewing in the northeastern state. In fact, an FIR has been filed against three members of a fact-finding team of Editors Guild of India who went to Manipur to look into the media's reportage of the ethnic conflict against Seema Guha, Sanjay Kapoor and Bharat Bhushan, who visited Manipur from 7th to the 10th of August over allegations that the report submitted by the team was false, fabricated and sponsored. The FIR also mentions the president of the editor's guild, Seema Mustafa, the chief minister of Manipur, Biren Singh, was quick to react and he said that uh, the editor's guild was trying to create more clashes in the state of Manipur. The editor's guild has issued a statement regretting the error in their report and has decided to file a fresh report on the recent Manipur clashes. The FIR details how the report did not mention key facts about large-scale illegal immigration to Manipur that threatens the indigenous people with a demographic change. The state government has filed an FIA against the members of the editor guilds who are trying to create more you know, uh, classes in the state of Manipur. All right, let's go across to my colleague Priyank, who's joining us on the phone line for more details. Uh, Priyank, first up, tell us about the details of the FIR against the members of the Editors Guild of India, and then also do uh, tell us about the response of the Editors Guild uh, on the FIR. <laughs> Uh, the controversy started once the editor guild uh, team, which has visited uh, uh, the Manipur in the conflict zone. So the fact finding team had released a report on the 2nd of September. Uh, the report of the fact finding team mission on media with the footage of the ethnic violence was published then. The editor guild, I'm sorry, uh, of India, and also suggested that uh, uh, they have received several representations that the media in Manipur was uh, playing a persistent role in the ongoing ethnic conflict between the two uh, committees. Uh, in majority, there was an ethnic committee, and in the minority, it was a uh, each in minority. On uh, July 12, uh, 2023, when the conflict had already uh, been going on over li little over two months, the editor general of India had received uh, from the Indian Army's uh, third corp headquarters uh, citing specific examples of the media in Manipur, suggesting that it may be playing a major role in arousing the passion and not letting sustainable peace uh, happening in the area. Uh, since the EGI um, had uh, published this report, uh, there was an error of publishing the picture on the front page of this particular uh, report, which was a, a, a two-page, um, I'm sorry, it was a, Four-page report that was given, and it was also citing that in the ninth of May first, uh, they saw almost the total destruction of Kuki uh, zoo uh, churches and the houses and other properties of the natives were also uh, dominated and destructed in the area. This was also accompanied by looting by police and armory. Uh, so the state government has also been uh, very much offensive about these kind of news articles which is being published, and that is coming out from the EGI is uh, something which has been taken up very seriously by the state government of Manipur. Uh, the chief of the state and the same thing has done and again been uh, issuing notices to all the media organizations which is certainly not looking favorable to the state government. And once the EDI had uh, done a minor error according to them also, which they have also uh, put it on the social media platform X, they have uh, published a report where they had muted uh, as I quote them, that there was an error in the photograph caption on the report release on 2nd of September. Uh, the same is being rectified and updated report will be uploaded on the link shortly. We request the error that cap in the photo editing stage, unquote. So this is the thing which has been, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, sent by on the social media platform by the editors Guild of India. But uh, that's seeing that uh, how the state government has been very much aggressively looking at the media report because uh, they are also being alleged that they are trying to protect only one community 
uh, in the recent report, which we also saw that the members of the Minority Committee have fled away from uh, the Imphal region, which was an area which was already predominantly being nominated by the members of the Majority Committee. So these kind of reports are partly uh, being very much uh, taken up offensively by the state government. And once there was an error from the EPS side, uh, the state government left no uh, you know, option for them. And they have filed an FIR under the relevant section of Indian Penal Code. Uh, to be very precise, this particular FIR has been filed under the section 66A of the Information Technology Act. Um, and um, it, it is very ironic that this act was also shut down by the Apex Board in the year 2015. So many things are happening in the uh, money board, uh, but in this uh, particular conflict night situation, filing an FIR on the AGI's report is actually very uh, important, which can be seen now. Right. Priyank, thanks very much for joining us uh, with all those details. All right, we have with us uh, senior journalist uh, Kinchuk, who is uh, with us in the broadcast. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for joining us here on Mirror Now. Sir, what is your first reaction to this uh, piece of information which is coming in that an FIR has been filed against four members uh, over the report filed by the fact-finding uh, team? And uh, these, of course, these four members are from the Editors Guild of India. Well, this is very shocking. I have not seen the report, but I think it is very shocking that members of the editors still should be booked for some events in Manipur. Who are journalists? What are they supposed to do? People from editors guild, how are they responsible? If they if you point out the truth, you can't file an FIR against them. This is absolute nonsense. Of course, I have not seen the report in the sense I don't know what is the context, but still, time of I can say it is absolute nonsense. You can't just go on. Uh, intimidating the press like this and file FIRs against them without knowing what it is all about. And these editors' guild members are not even connected with Manipur as such. They are only making their recommendations based on facts coming out to them. Right. So I don't know. This is a method trying to intimidate them, I think. And it should immediately be protested against. I think so. Immediately. So, what the Chief Minister is also saying is that the Editor's Guild was trying to create more clashes in the state of Manipur. What is your response to that statement? That is absolute nonsense. Why should the Editor's Guild try to create more clashes? The Editor's Guild, people sit in Delhi and other places, they take an overall view. Why should they want to create more clashes? I want to know. There is no logic to it. It is absolute nonsense. In fact, if anybody has to be... Held responsible, it is Biren Singh was doing a pretty bad job there. And instead of that, he's trying to blame editors. Absolute crap. Is this. this is absolute crap. Right. All right, sir. This Thank you I so much say. for joining us here on Mirror Now and sharing your views. All right. In fact, an FIR has been filed against... Uh, Four members of a fact-finding team of the Editors Guild of uh, India who went to Manipur to look into the media's reportage of the ethnic conflict. In fact, uh, this over allegations that the report submitted by the team was false, fabricated and sponsored. The FIR also does mention the president of the Editors Guild, Seema uh, Mustafa. In fact, uh, the chief minister of Manipur, Biren Singh, has also reacted to the FIR uh, going on and in turn blaming the Editors Guild, going on to say that the Editors Guild was in fact trying to create more clashes in the state of Manipur. In fact, uh, the Editors Guild has issued a statement. Uh, they have regretted the error in their report and has uh, decided to file a fresh report on the recent Manipur clashes. Now, remember, the FIR details how the report did not mention key facts about large-scale illegal immigration to Manipur that threatens the indigenous people with a demographic change. So, in fact, an FIR has uh, been uh, filed against four editors' guilds, crowdfunded Manipur uh, report and uh, a police case there filed against uh, four members of the editor's uh, guild over uh, their report on Manipur. Uh, the chief minister of Manipur has uh, reacted to the FIR. He's in turn gone on to blame the editor's guild, going on to say that it is them who were trying to create more clashes in the state of Manipur. The editor's guild has also issued a statement regarding the matter. They have regretted the error in their report and they have also decided to file a fresh report on the recent Manipur clashes.
Now, remember the FIR details how the report did not mention key facts about large scale illegal immigration to Manipur that threatens the indigenous people with the demographic change. All right, a fresh controversy brewing in uh, Manipur. Now an FIR has been filed against three members of a crowdfunded fact-finding team of the Editors Guild of India who went to Manipur to look into media's uh, reportage of the ethnic conflict. This over allegations that the report submitted by the team was false, fabricated and sponsored. Now remember, the Editors Guild of India in the report had said that there are indications that the leadership of the state became partisan during the conflict. Uh, it's Imphal based uh, social worker who filed uh, the FIR against uh, the three members of the Editors Guild of India uh, who came to Manipur from August 7th to the 10th. In fact, the FIR states uh, that the Editors uh, Guild of India's report had uh, captioned the picture uh, of a burning building uh, wrongly. So, fresh controversy, a fresh row there uh, brewing in the state of uh, Manipur. Now, an FIR has been filed against three members of the crowdfunded fact-finding team of the Editors Guild of India who went to Manipur to look into the media's reportage of the ethnic conflict over allegations that the report submitted by the team was false, fabricated and sponsored. 